kind of uh, Kobe took a took a liking to it, man. Offers mm -hmm. you some tips. Did you get a chance to check that out? I watched it twice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what did you take from that, man? Just from um, getting that advice, man. You know, the, the the coolest thing about that is, you know, I wasn't a Kobe fan growing up. You know, I just I didn't understand how much time in his presence and how how hard he worked in this game. And then my first being being in my first year in the league, he's become one of my favorite players to watch. You know, and I think that's that's the coolest thing. And I was talking to my teammates about that the other day, like. You know, when we were talking about just like playoff guys and taking over, and Kobe was one of those guys that, you know, it didn't matter what happens, you go out there and, and, and do it. Like, you know, I watched the 09 series against the Jazz over and over again because, you know, the way he responded after losing in game three at home, I think, or something like that, and he came out and hit like the first 11 points. Like, that, that mentality is one that I'm trying to get in myself, you know, just being able to, to, to take over in any, any way that I can. But, you know, to have a guy like that, Analyzed my game, and he was talking as if it was me, which is kind of pretty cool. <laughs> but um, you know, to, there were times where he was basically saying like, "That can't happen. This can't happen." And I'm laughing because I'm like, "Like, he's right. Like, you know, they can't push me off my spot. You know, I can't catch the ball at half court. You know, little things like that that you you don't understand until he, that like that breaks it down. The way he brought it broke it down it made so much sense. And you guys should definitely check it out. Not because it's me, but it's <laughs> like, you guys should check it out. He, make, he has one with Demar Derozan too. It's pretty. It's pretty cool how he breaks it down.